it would not surprise me if every person who's worked for DCF at one point or another has changed the time, has backed up of time, has changed the fact. Cutting corners, even falsifying records, it's something at least a dozen former and current investigators inside DCF admit they sometimes feel forced to do just to get the job done. The Contact 5 investigators in a joint investigation with the Palm Beach Post exposed excessive caseloads and record resignations within the department yesterday. Tonight, Contact 5 investigator Sam Smink continues our investigation. Sam. DCF's own records show falsifying records does happen. One investigator fired in 2016 cut and paste notes from one abuse case to the next. And in the last few months, two former Palm Beach County Child Protective investigators were arrested for falsifying records. One told police she did it because she was overwhelmed. The other shared his story with us. I'm aware turnover is an issue. It's been an issue. Matt Wilcox had 28 open cases when he quit DCF in 2015. And 28 cases could mean how many people that you're... You're probably looking at, you know, 200, 250 people easily. Wilcox yeah. admits he couldn't do it all. And that's when I realized that I didn't have, there wasn't enough time in this time in a day to do this job. So he lied. I backed up a time. I changed the time from 11 o'clock in the morning until eight o'clock in the morning. I had gone out and seen it. I had to be, a, I had to see a child at West Palm Hospital by eight o'clock in the morning on a certain day. I didn't get there until 11 o'clock that morning. Wilcox also claimed he spoke to the teenager. He didn't. But did I break the rules? Yeah, I broke the rules. Um, why did I do it? I did it because I wanted to keep my job. It's virtually impossible. And they did expect people to pretty much work 24 7. The people that really care about the families are few and far between. A dozen former and current investigators have told Contact 5 they cut corners all the time. But Wilcox got caught. He was arrested and is now on probation. How many people do you think are, are backing up times or just making things up? It would, it would not surprise me if every person who's worked for DCF at one point or another has changed the time, has backed up of time, has changed the fact. Um, it just wouldn't surprise me at all. Why? Because of, the, because of what they wanted from us. What they want, he says, is documentation. This was for one family on a caseload of 20. And when I had 28 other families to deal with, I gave him 36 pages of documentation, and he tells me that isn't good enough. If they want that kind of information, from each one of the cases. I mean, you can't have more than five cases as far as I'm concerned. Within um, the state of Florida, they have 60 days to work on these different cases. Dr. Heather Thompson runs FAU's Child Welfare Institute. She studied the Florida model for years. The legislature changed the system in 2014, following the high profile death of Nubia Barahona years ago. It's actually requiring them to do more work once they have the cases. And so as a result, they probably are staying with those families longer than maybe they would have been in the past. 32 people started as a CPI in Palm Beach County in 2016. 22% didn't make it through the first year. On the Treasure Coast, 40% didn't make it. That just takes more work. We're constantly trying to figure out how do we balance making sure we're meeting the needs of these families combined with not overstressing our protective investigators. And so hopefully we'll actually be able to hire more protective investigators. DCF Secretary Mike Carroll stresses his department has a zero tolerance policy for falsifying documents, telling us, quote, any time a DCF employee is found to have falsified documentation, the most appropriate and aggressive action, including dismissal, will be taken. Anyone investigated by the department who is found to have violated the law is referred to law enforcement for criminal investigation. We have a longer version of Wilcox's web interview on our website. Sam Smink, WPTV News Channel 5.